So the Saturday just gone, the 26th of October, a lot of teams in non-league in the 7th and 8th tier had been playing in the FA Trophy first qualifying round. As with a lot of games across the country, a lot of games were postponed due to waterlogged pitches due to the torrential rain that happened over the weekend, but there were two teams that didn't play their games for a different reason. They were disqualified from the FA Trophy within just a few days before the match was due to be played. We'll be looking into why this has happened, the different circumstances that have led to these two teams being disqualified and whether it's actually fair that it's happened in this video. But first of all, this video is sponsored by OneFootball, which is a good way to stay with lots of information from football. Lots of information such as stats, lineups, fixtures, results, league tables, latest news, transfers, as well as some different viral videos that are going around social media, for example. You can stay up to date with lots of different teams via the notification section, where you can just be notified by specific things that you want to be notified for. So I would recommend that you download the app and the link down it will be in the top line of the description. So on Tuesday the 22nd of October, Mosley were announced as having been disqualified from the FA Trophy due to playing an ineligible player in their previous round victory, a 4-2 win over Cleethorpes Town. They were due to face Morpeth on Saturday, but Cleethorpes were reinstated subject to an appeal from Mosley, but they had a deadline of Friday at midday to submit this appeal and the match went ahead with Cleethorpes facing Morpeth, Morpeth won 6-1. But that meant that it's all a bit of a strange situation. They didn't actually give any more real details out about why the game was postponed in terms of why the player was ineligible, whether they just weren't registered, whether they didn't have international clearance. Well, and Rovers were the second team to be kicked out of the FA Trophy in a matter of days. This happened and was announced just 24 hours before the match on Saturday was due to be played. Apparently on Tuesday, they had received a notification from the FA that one of the players that they had fielded in a previous round was ineligible due to a lack of international clearance. The club said that one of their players played for a Welsh university side in 2015, but had been playing in Devon in England since 2016. And they were completely unaware that before 2016 he had been in Wales. What should have happened was as soon as he switched from playing for a Welsh team to playing for an English team, he should have been given international clearance and that should have been sorted by the club that was signing him in England. But it appears that this never happened and he played without clearance and it's only just been found out. Willem play in the Southern League Division 1 South and were due to face Larkall Athletic at home on Saturday. But due to his qualification, Poulton Rovers were reinstated. That's the team that Willen beat in the last round. That match was due to happen on Saturday again, but it was postponed to allow Willen Rovers to lodge an appeal. The match had been rearranged for the upcoming Tuesday, the 29th of October. So we'll see whether that actually goes ahead or whether Willen win their appeal. The club said that we were unaware of his playing circumstances before 2016. As a consequence, we have pleaded guilty to playing an ineligible player today and the FA removed us from the FA Trophy competition as per their rules. The club have until Monday to lodge an appeal. The club does not hold the player or any member of the committee responsible for this oversight. So you might be wondering what actually is international clearance and why is it so important? So international clearance always needs to happen when a player goes from playing for a team that is based in one country to a team that is based in another one. Even if those two teams are in the same league, because they are stated in different countries, they have to get international clearance to transfer the player's registration. However, when this happens, it's all down to the clubs to make sure that it actually happens. It's not an automatic thing when a club tries to register a new player with the FA or tries to register a new player with the league. The FA don't automatically come to them and say, right, you need to get international clearance for this player. It is kind of put to the clubs to make sure that they sort it and that it is all covered and they're not going to get themselves into any trouble. Unfortunately, this one slipped through the cracks. The player hasn't been specifically named, but maybe his previous team just didn't realise that he was playing for a team at university. But maybe they just thought that it didn't count and he didn't need international clearance because it was only a university team. But to get international clearance, all that the new club would have had to do was to contact the, its own FA or the Welsh FA to basically get that player's registration transferred to their own FA. That's effectively the basics of, of what needs to happen. This is why this could be seen as quite harsh on Will and Rovers because 
They said that they were unaware of his playing circumstances before 2016 and they could have just assumed that because he'd been playing in England for three years without any problems I'd assume, then he was absolutely fine and international clearance wasn't something that they needed to investigate. However, you could also look at the opposite side of that argument and maybe the clubs should have actually investigated to double check whether he had played in a different country before, first and foremost, and second of all, whether the international clearance was sorted at the time. That's just there to cover their own backs. And even if it is historical, there are some clubs, particularly in non-league, that do oversight this sort of thing. And if the FA find out for some reason, then they could get in trouble. And it's Willen that are in trouble and not his previous club because he is just classed as an ineligible player for the FA Trophy. But regardless, it does really seem quite harsh to kick this team out of the FA Trophy as a result. Yes, it's a bad mistake and it is an oversight, but ultimately, I think it is just harsh to get to that conclusion of kicking them out of the tournament. Personally, I think that a warning would have been enough as well as a warning to his previous club who didn't actually get the international clearance sorted in the first place. That's the club, in my opinion, that have made the biggest error. But also, it does make you wonder how they've only just found out about this. Why is this only just coming to light when he's been in England for the last three years? Has somebody gone and told the FA? Have the FA done some random investigations and found out that he's not got clearance? It's all a bit of a strange situation, and yeah, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think they should have been kicked out of the FA Trophy because of this? Do you think it's a harsh situation for them to have to deal with? Do you think that they should have done more investigation to work out whether this player had played in a different country and had international clearance? Do you think that should be a standard procedure that is part of players signing for clubs let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video remember to set a like button and click subscribe as well so that with lots of different information from non-league football and yeah i hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching